So the next part from this, if you want to do something a bit more exciting, is how about we put you in a cage? How would you like to feel that power? What do you mean? Well, we can set up a cage for you. You can stand inside the cage and we'll shoot lightning at you. So you can see it up front and personal. Do you fancy doing that? Well, you're going to fire that at me? Yes. So we'll put you in a cage, you'll be perfectly safe. You just said that, that could kill you and it's a million volts. Yeah, so there's something called Faraday's principle. Faraday was a man who discovered the effect that if you... Electricity likes to go round objects rather than through them. So if we put you in a metal cage, the metal cage conducts electricity much better than you do. Right. And therefore it goes around the outer of the cage rather than all the way through you. A bit does go through you, but you don't die. So that's, the th that's theory you're that's, talking That's theory, yeah. I mean, it's well proved. I mean, only one person's ever died from it, so... OK, I'm, I'm, I'll do it. Are you, in, are you heavily insured? Yeah. About a million. <laughs> How would you want? Go on, then, let's do it. I'm in. So what we have here is a cage of death. Right, OK. <laughs> Why do I not like the sound of this? Do you want to try that for size? I don't think I'm going to get in there, am I? Yeah, we'll squeeze you in. Really? OK. Looks like one of those Iron Maidens. Yeah. It looks like a kind of spooky, massive jelly baby. Let me take out the safety foam. <laughs> OK. That insulates you from the floor. Step in, sir. i got a bad feeling about this. So, hands by your side. Right. Head back. OK. Ah! Well, it's quite tight, isn't it? Well, you're all right. Not that tight. Ah! <sighs> Try not to touch the sides. Well, I can't... Ow. I reckon that'll work. <laughs> I can't not touch the sides. I'm kind of squashed in now. There's a million volts. Yeah, a million so. volts. So Faraday's principle is that it's easier for the electricity to go around the outside through the skin of this rather than through you, because this conducts electricity much better than you do. OK. I'm aware that I'm touching the edges. Is that, is that going to be a problem? Yeah, that's not ideal. <laughs> no, what I'll do, seriously, anything you're unhappy with, if you feel any tingling sensations, hands on your head and we'll stop immediately. How can I put my hands on my head? I can't even move. You'll be fine. Do you have any fillings? No. Excellent. No watches? Well, yeah. Phones? Yes, all of these, all of these things. A microphone, a watch. So we try not to have metallic things inside the cage at any stage. <laughs> OK. So you're, not, you're going to fire that straight We're at gonna me? We're going to fire it, yeah. And you can actually see, if you cameras come and have a look, look, there's burn marks from where we've done it before. Would it be churlish at this stage to say, don't try this at home? Uh... So I'll put two safety earths on you so you're well earthed. Good. And we'll turn it on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Are we sure this is a good idea? I don't I get like a last meal or anything like that? Maybe a message for my kids? Tell them I love them. Will you tell my kids I love them? Set me on. Good. Let's see what the first person. Oh! <laughs> first person to try this was a brave man. OK. Oh, it feels a little tingly. So far, so good.
Oh, that was extraordinary. My goodness, you can feel like that. You can feel the heat sparking off your face. You can feel the heat and you can see like lightning bolts coming at you. It's like all the tingling that's on your skin. Yeah, yeah, I can still, I've still got that. It's like being, it's like being in the eye of the storm, seeing the lightning blasting off in your face. It's extraordinary. That's the most extraordinary thing I've ever done.